Alright, so I want to demonstrate the construction of a nine digit digital keypad lock with a six digit code to unlock the system. The first step, obviously, is to build the keypad. So I'll show you how to do that now.
Okay, here's the completed nine digit keypad, complete with a bus that sends it into the next component, which is the decoder, which simply determines which key's been pressed. Here you notice I use note blocks. That just makes it so that when a key is pressed, there's a sound so that you know that something's happening. Um, now the key with the keypad is obviously each button has to be wired separately and we can test that now by pressing these keys and we can see that uh, only one line at a time lines up or lights up rather so looks like the keypad part is done the next part is the decoder like I said and I'll uh, show you how to make that now This is the uh, completed decoder, although it has yet to be programmed. It is a uh, nine columns by six row device. It's expandable. Um, the amount of rows corresponds to how many keys in your key code. Mine is six, so there are six rows. And the amount of columns corresponds to how many buttons are on the device. There are nine keys on the keypad so there are nine columns now in order to program the device you first of all I labeled each column to which key on the keypad it is so this, this column corresponds to key one this column corresponds to key two this column corresponds to key three as you can see they're not out of, they're out of order and that's why I labeled them now the way to program your key code is to knock out the corresponding torch. So, for example, let's say I want to make my key code 7, start with a 7. So I come to the first row and I find the column that is 7 and I knock that torch out. That makes my first key 7. I go to the second row for my second key and I want it to be, we'll say, how about three? So I knock out the torch in column three on the second row. My third key will be, how about, we'll use four. Knock out the torch in the fourth column on the third row and so on and so forth and I'll cl complete my code here quickly okay I completed my key so it is seven three four nine one nine now in order to complete the programming the other part is done underneath you got you have to find the block which you knock the torch out which is the third one here go underneath We'll go to the third block in, put a block, and lay some redstone. Just like that. On the second one, it was clear on the other end. So 
I'll go clear to the other end. And bring the redstone out. Like that. And same for each of these rows. And I'll complete that now. now. Alright, here I've completely programmed the decoder with my key. And the outputs are here. These outputs will run into the next component, which is a sequential RS nor latch array. An RS nor latch is simply a one bit memory unit. It remembers either an on or off state. And uh, you can string them together in a way that uh, they're sequential so that the second latch can only be activated if the first first latch has already. And this is how we ensure that you have to enter the keys in a certain order to unlock the device. So I will demonstrate now how to build the uh, sequential RS nor latch array. Here's the RS nor latch array. I'll try to explain a little bit about how it works. This first dark blue block acts as an inverter. If this input is on, the output is off. As soon as this input goes off, the output goes on. This input will go off by hitting the first key in the sequence of your key code. Now these light blue blocks are the RS nor latches. This RS nor latch is off. Once this torch becomes active, it turns this RS nor latch on. And as you can see, it also activates this orange block. The orange blocks simply connect the RS nor latches together. Once this orange block comes on, we now have part of the negated OR gate, or a NOR gate for short, which is, which are these dark, the rest of these dark blue blocks are negated OR gates. They have two inputs. One is from here, from this torch, and the other is from the decoder. They both run into this dark blue block, and they effectively turn this torch off. As soon as both of these inputs are off, this torch becomes active, which activates the next RS nor latch. I can demonstrate that by like that. So this, you can see how we get the sequence in the RS nor latch array. That simply ensures that you have to press certain keys in a certain order in order to unlock the device.
Now the next component that needs to be built is the reset mechanism which simply resets the RS nor latches and turns them off as I have just done which will effectively relock the device. I'll demonstrate how to do that now. Okay, here's the completed device, fully working. The black is the reset mechanism. Um, the only, there are three other things that I would add to this. One is an output that will lead to a door. I'll demonstrate opening it. The other is a time-based self-reset mechanism so that in, basically the door closes by itself after a certain amount of time. And third, I will add another portion uh, of wire just to demonstrate visually the lock working as you press the keys. So I'll add those three things now. now.
Here's the device in its entirety. I've added the last three components. The yellow is the output of the entire device and connects to the door over there. The purple connects from the output of the device, delays the signal, and redirects it into a reset for the RS Norlatch array. Those are the three final components and it's ready for a demonstration. My key was 734919. So let's plug that in now. 7 3 4 9 One, and finally nine. Got an open door, the final light is on, and the device has a self-resetting mechanism, like I said, which will automatically reset the device after a short delay which of course the delay can be changed shortened or lengthened now in order to demonstrate that it actually requires the key in a certain order we'll plug in some incorrect key uh, codes first of all you can jam on any of these buttons that you wish won't do anything until you actually press the first key in the sequence sequence of the code which is seven in my case first torch will light up next key is three the second torch lights up the third key is four lights up the third torch and the fourth key would be nine but instead of pressing nine let's press five It will clear the device and start you over. Do one more time. Seven. Three. Instead of hitting four, let's hit one. And once again, the device will reset and start over thus showing that it requires the key in a certain order so there it is pretty cool what you can do with uh, redstone in minecraft nine digit digital keypad lock expandable reprogrammable hope you enjoyed watching it i uh, enjoyed building it quite a bit and there it is peace